And we saw things on the radar, frankly, that we've never seen before. Monday morning, severe thunderstorms moved through the Midlands, causing widespread wind damage and multiple tornadoes across the state. Frank Alzheimer, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service office in Columbia, says it is fairly unusual to see an event like that across the Midlands. Now, we haven't seen a setup like this or the number of tornadoes like this since 2008, so it's over a decade since we've had something this significant. A total of 28 tornado warnings were issued during Monday morning storms. The National Weather Service is continuing to survey damage reports from these storms today, including the EF3 tornado in Orangeburg County that took the lives of two people. Tuesday afternoon, the office had two different teams assessing damage across the area. We pretty much have all our available folks out there that are doing the surveys. Uh, because of uh, COVID-19 and distancing restrictions, it's a little more difficult than usual. We can't send out groups of people in a car together, for instance, so we have to keep our social distancing. The meteorologists surveying the damage look for patterns in the destruction, how structures, trees, and other things in the area were damaged in order to create their final storm report. So it's not just weather, but there's an engineering aspect to these surveys that's critical in determining the actual strength. In Columbia, Danielle Miller, News 19, WLTX.